Hey, this is Shane, VR Pacific Motorsports. Uh, we've got another kind of fun rig here that we found. Uh, we're going to do a quick walk around and drive, go over a couple flaws, and just do a quick, real thorough walk around on this car. So, this is a 2003 525i Sport Pack, um, well optioned, fun, fun little wagon. So, we're going to start here at the front um, and just again get pretty, pretty nitpicky. Um, so, you can see right here it has a real small little rock chip right here, um, maybe one right there or there. Um, this car was always stored indoors, wasn't daily driven, um, and you can kind of tell by the condition here. We got a little, little tiny chip down here. Keep moving down the side of it here. Wheels are all in good shape, newer tires. Um, see a little brake dust on there, I've been driving this thing around. So, um, no dents anywhere on the car. Um, kind of struggling to find some flaws here. So we got a couple here on the door. Looks like, you know, a couple tiny little chips. Chip here, um, chip here. I'll open the door. This is probably the, the, the worst flaw on the car. Uh, sounds like the gentleman, he kept getting the seat belt kind of caught in the door. So you can see where the, the seat belt would catch, he'd close it um, and he'd leave a mark. Um, easily replaced to get the door panel. You can see a little, couple little marks here on the, the sill here that kind of corroborate that. Um, kick panels, everything's in really, really good shape. You can see the bolster looks good. Um, it's just over 94,000 miles. Um, no leaks, you can see the headliner. It's a sunroof car. But again, always being garaged, no, no staining or anything like that in the headliner, no sagging. Kind of keep moving down the, the rear door here. Again, pretty, pretty nitpicky, but just to give you a really detailed look at it. Um, moving down the rear quarter here. Um, tiny, tiny little, little scratch right here. And again, another little nick right here. Um, we're getting to the rear of it here. Uh, so this car came local. It was about literally about five minutes away from me. It was kind of a neighbor's car. I, I tracked it down. Um, my brother-in-law runs a large service center here in Portland. They do BMW, Mercedes. So he was really familiar with the car. Um, so I had great, it comes with a ton of service history. So I literally just kind of picked up the phone, called my brother-in-law. Um, and he could vouch for everything that's been done with the car and how clean it was. So this is the kind of kind of stuff we really like to have. Um, we'll go over. There's no moisture anywhere. You can see the lighting's not great, but you can see all the way down. Took a real good photos of that down there. The car has always been inside, so no moisture, rust, or anything like that here in the rear area. See everything's. He did add these sunshades to it. Um, I'm not super familiar, but I'm sure some of you, you BMW guys will know this stuff a little better than me. Um, sounds like they were custom word for the car, uh, but cool, kind of cool add-on. Moving down the toolkits, everything's still, still here with it. The rear struts were just done. Um, for the rear hatch here, I have all the receipts for that. Um, comes with the original floor mats and the um, WeatherTech style mats, BMW ones. So we'll keep moving down. You know, again, this is pretty nitpicky, but a little little rock chip right here. The rockers are in really good shape. As I mentioned before, all the wheels are perfect condition. Um, let's see the rear of the car. Keep moving. We do have the original window sticker, everything with the car, so you can see the options. We took good photos of that. Um, sport pack, the upgraded stereo, um, all the all the kind of stuff you want on these. Uh, just a really nice driving car. So 
So I'm not seeing not maybe just a I don't even know if you can see that, but just to really give you a good can't even feel it, so that'd probably just come right off. Tiny little rock chip right here on the trim. Um, again, front fender, kind of nothing, nothing here on the front. Again, I think this is kind of where we start on this rock chip. So everything works like it should. The car runs, runs great. We have a just a stack of service history with it. Um, it's a two owner car. It's always been a Northwest car. So we'll do a quick drive video with you, take a shakedown, and uh, get going. All right, so we're gonna do a quick drive video. We'll start it. Pretty cold start. I drove it over here, but I'm about two minutes away. So this is Business Partners Place. So we'll do a walk around. Um, you know, like I said, I've been driving this thing for a couple weeks. Um, no issues, and you know, with my brother-in-law owning the service department that you know has done all the service and has all the receipts on it, I have no no worries with it. So we'll get it buttoned up and take it for a spin. All right, so we'll take it for a quick drive. It's pretty cold here in Portland today, so we'll try and avoid some ice today. See, everything works. Radio works. AC blows ice cold. Everything works up here as it should. See sunroof. Sunroof closes and opens, no issues. See, there's no moisture absolutely anywhere around this, which is kind of always a concern with these and this year of car. Uh, just in shape. The headliner has no sagging or, you know, like I said, it's been, been stored indoors, which you, know, you can tell by the condition of it. We are at 94,192 for mileage. So it's up to date on service, everything like that. Um, you'll see in the photos, we just have a stack of service history on this thing of what's been done to it and when it's been done. Um, Carfax is perfect on it. Car came out of Bellevue area. You see us get up to speed. Switch into sport. This is our fourth car we've done here on Bring a Trailer. We've got a great time doing it we get a group of us together at the local local pub and do some bidding uh, some betting on where these cars are gonna land we've had a great time doing it hopefully everybody we've sold to um, we've had great feedback with everyone and we really appreciate the community um, you know we want everyone to bid with confidence on these so we try our best to put together these little videos even as goofy as they look but uh, we'll do a quick rundown here sport mode So car handles great. I don't want to, like I said, it's about 35 degrees here right now, so I don't want to hammer on the corners too hard, but we'll get on the brakes here. See it's up to speed, no, no issues, tires are new. Um, we'll get on the brakes pretty good here. And see, no, no pulling, no anything. Um, so again, good luck. Another one I, I wouldn't hesitate to sell to a friend or or drive, drive home, fly in, pick it up, take it home. Happy bidding, good luck. As always, we'll be available on the auction site to answer any questions. And if you need to get a hold of us, just hit the uh, contact seller. Good luck, everyone. Enjoy.